Okay, this video is on uh, combined stresses. Um, here I have a 20 Newton force being applied. Um, I've drawn a cross section here as 0.10 times point, uh, I got 0.010 this, this direction. So first thing to do, let's find out what our area is going to be in this picture. So our area, well, I get a different color, sorry. Let's go back to here. Our area would equal to 0.010 times 0.1. We'll do that value real quick. And that's going to give us 0.01, sorry, 0 0.001 meters squared. So what we could say would be just P over A, this stress, would equal to 20 over 0 0.001 meters squared. And when we do that, we get a value of 20,000 pascals, or newtons per meter squared. All right, so we got that. Now, as we shift this, let's, let's, let's pretend or we're going to take this force here, and we're going to move it all the way to this side over here. So if I move it all the way over to here, what's going to happen is I'm creating the maximum tension here and I'm creating the maximum compression that this beam can see would be right here. So let's find out what would what would be the stress if I do apply the load. So to do that your moment here is going to equal to your load 20 newtons times the distance from here to here, which will be 0 0.05 meters. So when I do that, 20 times 0 0.05, that just gives me one newton meter. Okay, now we will go find out what the uh, I value is. If this is my neutral axis, then this would be my height, so it would be 1 twelfth times 0 0.10 cubed times 0 0.01. Run that value, 0 0.10 cubed times 0 0.01. We'll divide that by 12. And we're going to get a very small value of 8.33 times 10 to the minus seventh meters to the fourth. Okay, I'll scroll down just a little bit. Now our C value is going to be the distance from here to this axe or from here to the outer fiber. That would be 0 0.05. So our M C over I here would equal to our moment again would be one times your C value of 0 0.05. We divide that by our moment inertia, which is going to be 8.33 times 10 to the minus 7th. Let's run that number real quick. That gives me 60,000 pascals. So if we were trying to draw a distribution with our stress, and we'll just draw this in a line, representing the whole beam, what we would have would be here at the outer fiber, at this very end here, we would have a value of 60 plus 80, that 60 plus 20, that's going to give me 80,000, sorry, 80,000 pascals here. Now we know from here what would happen would be, again the C value is not going to change, but we'd have 60,000 in compression here, but 20,000 here, so it'd have 40,000 in compression here. That's com compression. I'll make that in Pascals too. But that would be in compression. This would be in tension. Now notice what happens. If you draw from here to here, there has to be a point somewhere in here where your stress will actually be zero. So the stress here, as a result of P over A and MCI, will have zero stress. So here you would have compression, 
and here you would have tension. And again, you can find out what the values would be anywhere because your POA, this is never going to change. But by varying the C value along here, you can find out what the stress would be anywhere along here. And again, the distance across here is going to be uh, in tension. This will be in compression. But note the C value is always from the neutral axis. Okay? I hope that one helped you.